while we're talking about grievances here, is someone who goes into a Walmart and shoots it up, are they in the same place mentally as someone who crashes a plane into a side of a building with a political agenda? Um, I'd say yes and no. I think both of those people, your terrorists and your Walmart shooters, feel wronged. But the terrorists will have some sort of political agenda. So they feel like they're part of something, they're representing some, something or, or a people or a movement that are oppressed. Might even be kind of religious fanaticism. So they feel that they're kind of speaking out or making a point uh, or committing an act on behalf of that organization and religion. Whereas somebody who goes into a Walmart and shoots it up is much more likely, they're still gonna feel wronged, but it's gonna be in a different kind of context. They're gonna feel much more aggrieved at the people at the store itself or who they think the people represent. I think this, there's a similar mentality, so both your terrorist and your kind of random mass shooter have this finality in their actions, so they're, they're willing to end their lives. In fact, what they're doing is kind of peri-suicidal, it's a suicidal act, but they're deciding to take some people out with them. But the reason of this finality might be very different. So in your Walmart shooter, it might be that they're very depressed, they see no future, and they, you know, they, they want to kill themselves. Uh, whereas your terrorist might have other uh, kind of finality beliefs, like for example, believing that they'll have, is it 42 virgins in the afterlife? I don't know how many it is, but it's way too many.